The migrant caravan is continuing to march north at this hour. When they arrive, if they arrive, they'll be greeted by thousands of liberal activists puffed up with self-righteousness, whose chief goal is to help anyone who is not American. That impulse is so powerful that it has even made Planned Parenthood in favor of childbirth. The nation's biggest abortion provider tweeted opposition to the president's proposed executive order changing birthright citizenship. They called it despicable and egregious, unlike anything they do 300,000 times a year. And that's just one example of what has erupted since the caravan began making its way here. The left has gone crazy. Enrique Acevedo has watched all of this. He's an anchor at Univision, and he joins us tonight. Enrique, thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks for having me, Tucker. So I just want a reality check. I think for the last month or so, I've been hearing from all the, the truly good people who host cable news shows in this country that the caravan is nothing to worry about at all. These are all really decent people. Their family's looking for a better life. And let me just say, I think probably most of them are. But now we learn from the U.S. Border Patrol that it's 70% single men. Now we learn from the Mexican ambassador to the United States that this group has been, quote, very violent and assaulted Mexican authorities on the Guatemalan border. So shouldn't I be a little more concerned about them coming here? We have to realize this is a humanitarian crisis and other countries involved should act accordingly. Um, if I say this is not a security threat, you're going to find a, an argument to, to call that a lie. So why don't we find out? Why don't we, you yeah. with your show and with my show on Univision, travel to Mexico, spend some time reporting, trying to figure out who's part of this caravan, if there are thugs and criminals and Middle Easterners, like the president says. We'll report that, and we owe that to our audiences. If they're not a security threat, we should also report that. We, we owe our audiences the truth. Well, I mean, both of our companies are doing that. You all have reporters down there. Fox News also does. But it's not really up to the media to decide who comes to our country. It's up, because this is a democracy, it's up to American voters who have elected representatives who made a lot of laws about this, which you're now saying we need to ignore. So the people in charge are U.S. citizens, American voters, and they're being ignored. They have a system of legal immigration, which this caravan is giving the finger to. So why do I have any responsibility to learn anything about the caravan? If they want to come here, they can go apply for citizenship or apply for a visa to come here, a green card. What, what am I well, missing? I, I I, I, think you, I think you're missing a, a key element of what they say they want to do. They want to arrive at the border and claim asylum legally. They respect that legal process, and they are honoring that process by stating they want to come to the border, a port of entry, and then apply for asylum legally. That's what they're trying to but do, asylum for despite the I'm, fact that I'm everyone confused. else says they want to come in illegally. It wouldn't make any sense to you know, be on a caravan with thousands of people to try to sneak in anywhere. I think you but they're, want but to they're, do that on, on your but, own. But they're, they're passing U.S. consulates along the way. They've already been offered asylum by the, the, the country of Mexico, and they've said and no. And many of them are taking it and staying but, in Mexico, but, but, according some are, that's to that true, Mexican ambassador. And it's nice of Mexico to do that, but a lot of them aren't. Thousands aren't. So, But I guess my question is, asylum from what? I mean, there's no war going on in Honduras right now that I'm aware of. It's a poor country. It's always been a poor country. That's not America's fault. It's not Donald Trump's fault. Why is it? Why does that True. make me obligated to pay for this caravan? I'm, I'm honestly confused. Well, we can spend a little money there and make a big difference at our border, or we can keep spending billions of dollars of taxpayer money at our border to make no difference in the places where these people are coming from. We have been trying to seal the border for the last 40 years. Donald Trump is actually doubling down on some of the failed policies of the past. Instead really, of looking for a new like approach, the one where he, built he will spend more time fighting the root causes of immigration. Well, how about this one, though? How about, and this is just something that came to me, how about building a very high impenetrable wall across the border? Do you think that would have, that's never been tried. I think Trump wanted well, to we try already to have a 700-mile wall in a 2,000-mile border, so it's been tried, and it's not helping. I don't know how building a wall will solve the issues that are making what? these people leave but, their but country with on, their families. But hold on. What, I, I really don't you, know what, how that's going to okay. make a difference. You know, maybe, maybe you're right. I mean, maybe you can I'm do wrong. it and I mean, spend $25 billion dollars of taxpayer it, it, money in doing it, but okay, what happens but, but, if it doesn't work? Okay, then maybe move on to something else, but American voters just voted for that in the last election. And then all the moralizing chin tuggers are telling them you're a racist for wanting that. At least you've conceded American citizens have a right to determine what kind of border barrier they have, just as every other yes, country does. Every country Lots has of that walls, right, of course. A lot of them work. 
But and again, I the think point we've been is, doing that for the past half a century. We've okay, been trying okay. to militarize okay, the border. But, we have 21,000 well-armed manned drones, a 700-mile right. wall, high-tech uh, surveillance equipment, okay, but, all sorts of things but it's, uh, at the border. But hold on. And it's not but, working, Tucker. Okay, we should be focusing not, on the root causes of immigration. But, but you're not even against, but issues. hold on. You're not against right. illegal immigration. Let's be clear. There are 22 million illegals in our country right now. I think they should all be deported tomorrow, and they can reapply if they want to come back, because it makes a mockery of our laws. You disagree with that. So that's okay. I'm not mad at you, but don't tell me about how you support border security, because by definition, you don't. You don't care at all about it, right? It's not that I don't support border security. It's that I think that's not going to solve the issue. That's not going to solve the issue in its essence. People are going to keep Deporting coming. 22 million just, people? Might get pretty close the, to solving the issue. If the issue, strategy is just to stop people once they show up at the, at the door, Th that's not going to work out. And we have the last half a century to prove it. Let's start <laughs> okay. a different approach. Why don't we try yeah. solving some of the issues that are making these people leave their homes oh, with so their families, leaving fix, everything behind? Fix Honduras. Spend a little money there. Right, make fix a big difference here. a little money to fix Honduras. Right, okay. Okay. I'm well, sure no, we don't we'll want to fix Honduras, no but you can make a difference. USA has made Honduras. a difference not a big deal. in many, in some of the most violent communities. Yeah. And there are just, you know, plenty of uh, reports that prove that. Yeah, let's fix Iraq first, and then Afghanistan, and bring peace to the Middle East. Then we'll fix Honduras. Well, let's fix the U.S. first, list. and then we can okay. care about the rest Perfect. of the world. Perfect. Enrique, great to see you, as always. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Google knows everything about you, likely know more than your spouse does, but for eight years, they refused to update photographs of an isolated military base in the western U.S. Why is that?